Hey friends! Do you want to see how my mommy does this hairstyle? If so, keep watching! Hey friends! So friends, I first started off by spraying her hair with our spray bottle and just lightly spraying it. And then I'm just gonna create a part down the middle and I'm using the tip of her nose as my guide to where to start that part. And then I'm just gonna put one part in a ponytail just to hold that while I'm working with the other side. And now I'm just gonna make my ponytails on this side and you just wanna make sure the hair is all nice and detangled and just a tad bit of moisture. And I'm just creating, see I'm just, how I'm creating that part just coming down towards her ear. And then I'm just using some of this fruit passion control paste and I am going to just get her edges before I put that ponytail in there. And then I'm just using my comb just to smooth out those edges as well before I get that ponytail in. So before I get that ponytail in there, I wanna make sure the hair is nice and moisturized and detangled. And I am using two elastics to get that ponytail in there just because I feel like it gives it a nicer, firmer hold and in case one breaks, there's another one. So now I'm just gonna create ponytails for the rest of the hair and notice how I'm just combing the hair downwards. You wanna do that so that when you, um, you know, create that part and then get that ponytail in there, it just flows nicely and you don't have hairs in a ponytail that's not supposed to be in there. And I'm just trying to make my parts as close to the size of the first one as possible. Some of them are gonna be smaller or bigger depending on how amazing you are at parting, but yeah, mine, they're blah, blah. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna use my clip to hold the parts that I'm not using right now. And the way I put the ponytail in there, the other one, as you can see, is I'm just trying to get it in line with the other ponytail. So that's what I did all the way down. I just tried to make sure that each ponytail was in line with the ponytail in front of it. So friends, I did the exact same steps for all the ponytails, which is detangling and adding a little bit of moisture and then adding some of the passion fruit control paste to the hair before getting that ponytail in there. And friends, if you check out my second ponytail, I am not liking that ponytail at all. So if you can keep in mind, try not to have your ponytails looking like that. Sometimes I'm doing these videos so fast because I don't want my camera to have so much footage. So I don't even pay attention. But yes, I would definitely have went back and changed that second one if I had noticed sooner. And friends, you'll notice that once you're coming down towards the head, her hair is gonna start like parting triangular. It's nothing that you're doing wrong, it's just the way that her head is shaped. I actually really like how it looks. I wish that I could have got it for those, you know, the triangular parts for those first two parts as well, because it would have looked very cool. So for those of you who want to continue watching me part, keep watching. But if you want to skip over and see how I just parted the other side, then skip over to 415. So now for the other side, I'm just gonna show you the first ponytail and how I parted it just because it is the exact same thing that I did for the rest of the hair. So parting this side is easy because you're just using the other part that you created on the other side as your guide. And now when you get that ponytail in there, you kind of want to make sure that you have it in the same placement as the other side. So I just kind of use my finger to kind of measure, but you could probably just measure with your eyes. 
So now we're just gonna get the braids in there, but before we do that, we wanna make sure that the hair is all nice and moisturized with the spray bottle, as well as all detangled so that it makes it easier to do those braids. And also before I put the braids in, I did use some of my Shea Moisture Mixture that I make and I put it in each of the ponytails just to make it nice and moisturized as well as look nice and shiny with those braids in there. So now we're gonna braid the hair, but you wanna make sure that the hair is all nice and detangled before you braid that hair. And you're gonna braid it all the way until the elastic part of that other ponytail. So now once you get it to that elastic part, you braided it all the way there. You wanna just take that ponytail and you wanna split it into three pieces. And each piece, you wanna add it to a piece of the braid. I hope that makes sense. I know you can't really see it here, but I do have better footage. And then once you combine that, you're just going to braid that piece all the way till you get to the elastic part of the other ponytail. So I found it was better if I just took one of these clips and I clipped the hair while I was splitting the other ponytail into three pieces and you can get those clips from uh, Walmart I've seen them there or maybe your beauty supply store but I got mine from the dollar store and yeah so what you do is you see how I just took those pieces and now I'm just combining it to each piece of the braid that I already have braided if that make any sense and then you always want to make sure that you detangle so that it makes a nice clean braid And then you're just gonna wanna do that, those same steps for the rest of the hair. And I found friends that if she was sitting in between my legs while I'm sitting on a chair, she's sitting on the floor or on a lower chair than me, then the hair actually, like the braid lays so much nicer and better. Like I did this hairstyle once before and it, I was like, why is it looking different? But I, like, why is the, the elastics kind of popping out? And then I realized it was because I'm like, she's higher than me. So it was kind of, I'm kind of in a different position. So if you have her in a lower position while you are doing the braid, it's gonna be so much, it's gonna lay nicer. And friends, another tip is when you are doing that uh, braid and braiding it over that elastic, try to tighten that uh, braid as tight as possible, um, just so that elastic kind of tucks underneath that braid so that it's not shown. I think it looks nicer when, the, when that elastic is not shown, but you know, otherwise, if you can't do that, it still looks cute. So now that we're finished, I just grabbed some of the passion fruit control paste. I always want to say blueberry bliss control paste, but some of the passion fruit control paste just to get those edges. And then for some added cuteness, I added these cute little cat ears that I got from uh, AliExpress and they only cost me like $2. I'll leave a link in the description box for you. So my friends, I hope this tutorial was an easy one for you to follow. This one's a pretty popular one going around the internet. If you did like this hairstyle and if you are going to do it in your little one's hair, please give us a thumbs up. And if you are not already a subscriber, subscribe for more hair tutorials. We love you friends, bye.